Press start. Hey everyone, Dan here and welcome back to Minecraft where today we are playing a custom map called Detective Dan. Yes, Detective Dan and the murder on Saffron Lane. So today we are going to be a detective and he just so happens to be called Dan. So I saw this, I was like, this is perfect. So let's play it. Now, um, I noticed while I was in this, look, it says, and if you're playing Dan TDM, hi, by one of the guys who made the map. How awesome is that? <laughs> so this is the story. You are Dan West, a great detective that is only stumped by his wife's murder. You have been working at the agency in Woodcliffe for a while now, and everything has been quiet up until you turn on the radio to hear something shocking. By the way, this takes place in the 1980s. The date is 6th of the 3rd for the dumb people, June the 3rd, 1981. <laughs> Follow the objectives. P.S. Step on gold blocks to talk to people. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Did you read everything? It's important. Yes. Yes, I read everything. I was ready and I'm so prepared. Unlucky bacon. Oh, I was like, what? When is bacon ever unlucky unless you're the pig? Obviously. Detective Dan and the murder on Saffron Lane. Hmm. Turns on the radio. Breaking news! For the first time in five years at 10.30 last night, a murder has occurred on Saffron Lane. We have been told the killer has gotten away. Uh, the victim, 23-year-old Stacy Birch, died from a gunshot to the head. Ew. Ew, that sounds horrific. Telephone rings. Now, can I move? Unbelievable. Anyway, should probably get the phone. It is probably the agency. Get to the phone downstairs. Okay, so why, um, oh! I was inside the radio. Of course I was. <laughs> so this was the radio that we were just listening to. And it sounds like a murder has happened, which means Detective Dan must spring into action, which is me. Look at this tiny TV. Oh my goodness. This is the smallest TV I've ever seen. Have you not heard of a 49 inch flat screen TV, Detective Dan? You must not be able to earn much money from being a detective, but you know what? It's not the money that matters. It's the people who we save. Can I go to the toilet really quick? Oh my goodness, look. There's actually toilet paper here. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I can't even use my own toilet. Who designed this house? But anyway, let's leave the bathroom behind and let's go downstairs. Nice clock. I like that. I like that a lot. I've got a very bare house. I've got one seat. I've got a fridge, which is good that I can't even open. A toaster. A toaster is always good. And is this the... F oh, this is the phone. Let's, let's answer the phone, shall we? Picks up the phone. Who is it? Hello? Hello? This is Dan West, detective and superhero. Dan, we need you at the crime scene right now from Paul. I'll be right there. Okay, do I get to drive a cool car? I hope so. New objective, go to your garage through the door under the stairs and go to the crime scene. Let's do this. Is this my car? I drive a, a pickup truck. Okay, this isn't how I imagined Detective Dan, but you know what? It does not matter. Let's um, press this and here we are in the car. Beautiful. Whoa! That was cool. That was really cool. Man, I know I haven't been in the city in a while, but this looks sketchy. Okay, well, time to go to the crime scene. Okay, let's see what on earth is going on here. So, there seems to be a lot of people around. A lot of people. And this is Tommy Rizzo. Tommy's pie is closed for health issues. Tommy, what have you done to everyone? Let's see what he says, shall we? Hello? Are you gonna- are you gonna say anything? No? Tommy, I want you to say something, please, buddy. Don't make me steal your head, okay? No, I'm joking. I won't really do that. So I need to get to the crime scene really quick. Lights club closed for reasons. That's very clear. Where is this crime scene? Huh? Is this the crime scene? Um, uh, yeah, look. Birch Manor. Police line. Do not cross. Dead end. Ha. Huh. Did you get it? Dead end. Huh. Let's go in here and see Officer Paul Milsack. How you doing, buddy? Let's step on here. Would you like to talk to Officer Paul Milsack? Yes. Yes, please. I would like to talk to you. Um, hello, Dan. The crime scene is upstairs. I would go check it out. She got shot in the head and the bullet is still sticking out. You should try to take it out for research. Ew. All right. I'll check it out. Um... That's a little bit gross. I'm gonna close this so people don't be peeping. New objective, go upstairs and check out the crime scene. Okay, let me see what's in this chest though, because this is intriguing. An empty cup. I'm gonna take that for 
purely detective purposes for no other reason. Okay, so brace yourselves, guys. This could look messy. Wow, this is perfect. I'll test the DNA at the police station after I talk to everyone. Oh, is that about the cup? Ah, oh, nice. Nice work. Nice thoughts, Danso. Oh. Oh, hello, Paul Milsack. How did you get up here, buddy? <laughs> what happened? Is that the bullet in her head? That's gross. Okay, can I talk to you now, please? Let's see what's going on, Paul. Here she is. I bet she was pretty before all the, um, well, you know, like bullets and stuff. Yeah, so what exactly happened here that night? Well, it looks like the killer was hiding in the corner, waiting for Stacy to get out of her room. Then, bang! The bullet gets stuck in the head and no one wants to take it out. Luckily, the kid wasn't here. He was sleeping over at a friend's house in downtown Woodcliffe. Awesome. Okay. Man, that's crazy. Still can't believe there's been a murder. Anyway, any suspects? Yeah, are there any suspects? Here is a book. A cool guy made me for all the suspects' names in it and more. Okay, what's this got? Johnny New Eggs. <laughs> nice name. Julia Gongolas. We've also got um, Timmy Rizzo, Alden McFart, okay, Robbie Boulder, um, and some other stuff. Okay, that's everyone you need to talk to. Yeah, here is a book. Uh, oh, I've already said that. You can talk to all those people after you check out this house and see what clues you can find. Just do your thing. You're a good detective. Thank you, Paul. Thanks so much, buddy. That's really nice. No problem. I'll be up here if you need me. Tip, do not talk to Tommy last. Why? What's Tommy got to hide, huh? New objective, look around the house for clues and take the bullet out of Stacy's head. I don't really know if I want to do this, but I think I'm going to have to. You ready? Oh, oh, gross, gross, gross. I've got the bullet, but I should be able to use this. Stacy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you died. I'm sorry someone shot you. That's really gross. Uh, I can't go in Mark Birch's room. I can go in here, though. Wolfart. Is that Wolfart groceries? No way. <laughs> that's amazing. That's that's actually hilarious. Okay, so I've got um I've got the bullet and I've got an empty cup as well. So I think those are the only two things I can get right now. I'm pretty sure. I don't I shouldn't really stand in the blood though, should I? Um right, while this is perfect, I'll test the DNA at the police station after I talk to everyone. Okay, so now we need to talk to certain people, and it says, um, did it say don't talk to Tommy last? So let's go and talk to Tommy first. Tommy! Tommy, how are you doing, buddy? I tried to talk to you earlier and you weren't having any of it. How are you doing? So I'm going to talk to you. Do you know what happened? What do you want? Wow, that's rude. That's really rude. Really rude. Okay, wow. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Didn't they, Tommy? Sorry. It's just my restaurant got shut down. Oh, yeah. For health issues, was it? Uh, okay, then. May I ask you some questions, please, Tommy, with the giant head, please? Can I ask you some questions? Um... All right, he says. Okay, at least he's being cooperative. That's good. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dan West, and I'm a detective on the case of Stacy Birch. Okay, that makes more sense now, says Tommy. Beautiful. So, um, what question shall I ask him? This, that's a good one. <laughs> Where were you last night at 10 30? I was signing some stupid papers for my restaurant because it was closing down. Are you close to the Birch family at all? If it stops right here, just go to another suspect. This is just... Oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Not really, but I knew Michael a bit. Not really. You don't have to say it twice, buddy. You don't have to say it twice. It's okay. Okay, tell me about Stacy. Please. Well, she was quiet. She stayed at home and she just got laid off of her job. So she lost her job. That's really upsetting. Was it at your restaurant because it got shut down? Huh? Uh, thanks for the help. See you around, Tommy Rizzo. So, he doesn't seem that suspicious whatsoever. I'm going to turn these around because it looks better. Um, who should we talk to next? Let's go for... Um, we can't really get in many of these places. Johnny's Apartments. Johnny New Eggs! How's it going, Johnny New Eggs? Let's talk to you, shall we? Hello and welcome to Johnny's Apartments. The elevator's down, but the apartments are up. That, that, that's actually quite funny. I only just got that. <laughs> I don't need an apartment. I'm Dan West, a detective on a case of Stacey Birch. I'll need you to ask some questions. Um, no, I'll need to ask you some questions. All right, hit me. Should I hit him? Should I actually punch him? Boom. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Johnny New Eggs. Where were you last night at 10.30? Not creepy at all, but I was in my apartment working. Are you close to the Birch family at all? Well, I live right down the street from them. Other than that... No. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> I'm a pretty rubbish detective, aren't I? Um, so we've got a water fountain here. Very nice. Oh, you take a look at the water through the glass. It looks nasty. <laughs> I've got a cup, though. I could use this cup, but I kind of need it for evidence as well. Um, 
What's this? Receptionist, Wanda, Taylor, and Don Crumb. No, I don't want to talk to you, Johnny New Eggs. I'm sorry. Can I use this? Oh, the elevator's broken. Great. Okay, the next place I'm going to go is Wolfart. I have always wanted to go here. Olden McFart. You look like a man that I could get on with. How are you doing, sir? Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. I want to talk to Olden McFart. Yeesh! It reeks in here. Hi there. I am Olden, owner of Wolfart Groceries. How can I help you? <laughs> That's exactly the sound I kind of think he would make after he'd say everything. Um, I'm down west. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Um, hi there. Okay, wait. He's saying the same thing over and over again. This guy is crazy. You slowly back away until you can reach the door. Alden McFart. He's already a legend. Already an absolute legend. I'm I'm glad I got out of there. Yeah, that was a little bit awkward, actually. <laughs> right. Let's go and um, talk to some more suspects. Actually, I think the only place we can go now is the NYPD. Um, because all of these... Oh, wait. Wait, can we go in here? Robbie's guns, we can go in here. Okay, this is actually one we should pay attention to because the killer used a gun. So I'm a little bit, oh, oh, it matches. It matches. Um, Hey, dude, Robbie Boulder, how you doing, buddy? So um, what's going on? What's up? What can I do for you? Do you know where this bullet came from, you punk? Um, I'm Dan West. Can I ask you some questions every time? Um, all right, sure, okay. So, where were you last night at 10.30, Robbie Boulder, huh? Where were you? I was running my gun shop like always, 24 hours, baby. Why do you run your gun shop 24 hours? That's crazy. Okay, are you close to the Birch family? Not really, but that poor kid, Mark, must be devastated. Yeah, that must be crazy. So, Mark is the little kid, the um, the son of Stacy. Um, all right, then. I'd like to know what gun this bullet came out of. That right there is a Deagle bullet. Okay, nice, nice. That's, that's, um, what's a Deagle? All right, then. I'd like to know the purchases of that gun in this last week. Good thinking, Dan. Good thinking. Let me take a look here. Um, the last couple of purchases of the Deagle was Alden, Johnny, and Michael. Okay, thanks for the help. I'll be on my... Wait, 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 wait. Michael? Um, wait, I thought Michael was out of town and I thought he was the son. I thought he was like a kid. Apparently not. Okay, what's this? Is this a pressure plate? No, it's just, it's just a carpet. No, panic. No panic's over. So our suspects right now are Alden, Johnny, and Michael. So Johnny New Eggs. Um, who else? Alden McFart has bought a gun. Of course he has. And Michael Birch. Ah, the husband. That's the husband. Okay, I thought it was the son. It's not at all. Okay, so where do I go now? I guess I'm going to try going to the police station, I think. Here we are. Home sweet work, <laughs> pretty much. Officer Brad, how you doing, buddy? Can I speak to you? No? Okay, that's fine. We got no prisoners in here. Oh, we do have a prisoner. Prisoner Luke, what's going on? How are you doing? Can I talk to you? No, that's fine. Okay, I need to... Oh, wait. Wait, I can. I can talk to him. Okay, I would like to talk to Prisoner Luke. Uh, man, prison straight up sucks. Like, I asked to go to the bathroom, and they're like, Oh, we don't have one. <laughs> Sounds painful. Like, you wouldn't believe. Are you holding in a poop? You're holding in a poop, aren't you? That's disgusting. Is it hurting? I've got a, I've got a toilet that I can't use, so I'm kind of holding in a poop as well. This is getting a little bit weird. Let's scan some DNA, shall we? So place DNA here. Okay, let's, um, let's put the bullet in. Should we see if, see what happens when we put the bullet in? Or have I just lost the bullet forever? I think I just lost the bullet forever. Um, I am a good detective. A really good one. How about we put the cup in instead? Beep boop, beep boop. I've definitely lost the bullet. Calculating. What does it say? What does it say? Scanning complete. Whose DNA is on the cup? Who is it? Is it Michael? Johnny New Eggs. What? Johnny, he seems so nice. This doesn't seem right. I should go back and talk to him again. Johnny New Eggs. Johnny New Eggs, you little punk. And I suspected my old friend, Olden McFart. How could you do this to me, Johnny? Johnny! Johnny, what's going on, buddy? You bought- Oh, you've got your arm up. What's going on? <laughs> Why is your arm up in the air? You're very suspicious, buddy. I found a cup with your DNA on it at a crime scene. Care to explain? You'll jump, huh? I've been framed! I swear I didn't do it! I've never been in their house before! Okay, he's getting very defensive. I think I believe him. There is no way he did this. It just doesn't make sense. Why not, Detective Dan? Pick- Oh, no! Oh, I didn't realize that- Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, so do I believe him or lock him up? This is a tense situation. What am I- What am I supposed to do? Um, 
believe him or lock him up. So there was DNA of his cup inside the house and he bought a gun. Now the other two people who bought a gun of the gun that fired the bullet, um, they didn't have DNA in the house. Is he going to be the only one? I mean, it makes sense to arrest him, but I don't know. Oh, lock him up. Lock him up. I failed. I failed. I didn't. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you could fail. Okay. Um, whoops. So thinking about it, I was pretty dumb to just go for him straight away. So I am going to believe him. Okay. I believe you. Stay out of trouble. Um, go talk to Paul at the crime scene. So the advantage of restarting the map is I get to keep the bullet this time because I kind of lost it. Um, I, I get another chance to be a good detective. So we need to go back to the crime scene. Talk to Paul and see what's going down. Is there any extra evidence? Paulie Oha, Paul Millsack. Yes, I would like to talk to you. Um, hey Paul, I found a cup with Johnny's DNA when I went to confront him and he said he was framed. I think I believe him. What do you look like behind them glasses, huh? I don't know, Dan. I'm gonna have to trust you with this one. Yeah. It's a pretty bold statement to make. Actually, I know Johnny's not the killer. I, I do? Um, how? <laughs> how do I know he's not the killer? I don't know yet, but it's between Tommy and Alden. Please don't be old and McFarty. Why don't you go to Stacy's room and look for more clues? Go check out Stacy's room. Okay, so... Oh, we can go in here now. Nice. Okay. Plant. What were you doing? Room in renovation. Okay. What's in here? We've got complaints. This looks like a copy of why Tommy's pies got shut down. That's a new motive. I should go talk to Tommy. So let me just open this real quick. Um, okay, so she wrote... Um, Stacy wrote a letter to uh the health authorities about tommy's pies okay okay i see what's going on here i think i see what's going on here but the only thing is tommy didn't buy a gun but i guess he could have stole it oh where is he where is he he's gone he's gone he's gone i think he knows i want him wait a second what's that crack down there maybe i can slip through um what what is going on what just happened? I've just been transported into a random room. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's just press uh, this button. Oh, that zaps me back. What about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Did that, that teleported me to a different room, didn't it? Okay, let's try this. That teleported me. Okay, let's see what this one does. That teleported me as well. Oh, jeez. Oh, there you are. Well, well, well. Looks like you find my little hideouts. What are you doing? I knew it was you, Tommy, right from the start. You were a thief. You stole my heart. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oops. Wrong person. Anyway, why? Why did you do it? Yeah, why did you do it, Tommy, huh? Why did you do it? Because she shut you down. Two reasons. He admitted it. He admitted it. One, I wanted to. She was shutting down my restaurant, my livelihood. Two, ZM told me to. I do what he tells me to. He orders, I deliver. What in the holy god of Notch is ZM? Wouldn't you like to know? He he he. Anyway, I've got to run. Not so fast. Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul coming in to save the day. You just admitted to the murder of Stacy Birch. You little punk, Tommy. It, it was all over a few little uncooked pies really you're going to jail mister oh no <laughs> we finally got him we got him look he's behind bars and ready to do his time yeah nice job dan i knew you could do it thanks buddy thanks it was kind of you though thanks paul i mean you arrested him in the end by the way we've got another case no way we've got another case what is it hey brad how you doing buddy uh what is it to be continued! Oh, man. So, thanks for playing from Bacon and Sticky. What a great name. What a great pair of names. But, um, anyway, guys. That was actually pretty cool. I am now a ghost. Did I die now this time? I think I might have done. But anyway, that was really cool. I liked that. It was a, it was quite wordy, but I quite liked being able to choose whether to arrest someone or not. And it looks like they're going to do a part two soon. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed being a detective with me, we finally got the right guy after locking up the wrong one. But who's, who's, who's counting? Who, who's really paying attention?
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you did enjoy it, a big fat thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching. You are the best. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!